As a video editor, we trade our time for money, but everyone has 24 hours in their life. And if you want to earn more by video editing, then you should stop doing these mistakes as soon as possible. You can find the lost money, but can never find the lost time in your life, even if your bank account is connected to Elon Musk. So you have two options. One, click off this video and waste a lot of time doing annoying tasks over and over again. Or take this blue pill and you will know what you were missing in your life in the end of the video. The choice is yours, moving across the timeline. In Premiere Pro, you can move ahead in timeline by using your mouse wheel like this. Easy life, but in After Effects, it's not the same case because you have to deal with a lot of layers. So developers didn't give that option to it. And I used to move across timeline by moving this, which was very inaccurate and annoying to do. And I thought that's the price of using After Effects. But one day I accidentally pressed shift and dragged my mouse wheel and I was shocked. I was happy and sad at the same time realizing I was so stupid and no one told me this on YouTube. And from that time, I use this every single time. Okay, so next is zooming in and out timeline. When I have to zoom in or out in the timeline, what I usually do is press these buttons which were so tiny that I accidentally reveal the taskbar over and over again. And my brain goes away until I wait for the, the taskbar to go down, which wasted a lot of time. So for this reason, I use plus and minus buttons on keyboard to zoom in and out. And I was doing that for the past one year until one day I was rotoscoping and deselecting some parts while holding alt. And then I accidentally discovered that you can also zoom in and out your timeline holding alt and using your mouse wheel. So till then, wherever I have to zoom in on the timeline, I place my mouse at that point and use scroll wheel until it feels fine to me. And this speeds up my editing workflow a lot. Gradient overlay. When I apply gradient overlay from the effects and presets, and adjust these pointers to make a nice gradient. But the problem comes when I duplicate this layer and move it to another spot, which is a very common thing which people do to save some time. And you can see that the ramp is changed again and we have to fix it for every layer that we have, which can be a tedious task to do while making animation. But now I use gradient overlay from the layer styles, which doesn't have any issue like that. Once you set the gradient, you can move it anywhere in the composition and it will remain intact. Auto save. This should be the first thing to do when creating anything in After Effects, because while editing videos, sometimes After Effects crashes up, or if you are working on a PC, then sometimes when the power cuts off, the project files get corrupted, especially when you hit the Control plus S and After Effects is saving the file, and at the same time, power cuts off. It happened to me, and I smashed my brother instead of breaking my system. Anchor Point. Centering the anchor point could be a tedious task to do, but after watching the 1069th tutorial, I found a shortcut to do that which is Control Alt plus Home. So I will select any layer which I want to center the anchor point and click the shortcut, and you can see the anchor point is now in the center, aligning the layer in front of camera. I watched a lot of 3D edits on Instagram, by which I got so curious that I tried to create them in After Effects. I set up all the elements and scenes and created a camera and null, but sometimes I forget to add some more elements, and when I import them into After Effects and make it 3D and see it disappear. And I was so foolish that I tried to bring them back with position property, which took a lot of time doing useless things and is so annoying. And if this happened to you, I can feel your suffering. To avoid this disaster, click the layer which you want to position in front of the camera and then Control plus Home. And that's how you saved a lot of precious clicks in After Effects. True Comp Duplicator. Let's suppose I have this composition and I want to create two of them with different images. So what I will do is press Control plus D and go inside the composition and change this. Simple, but when I go back, then it seems like I've changed both of them. So if you don't want this to happen, then what you have to do is search this composition in Project Panel or right-click on it and click Reveal in Project. Now duplicate it from here and change the image by going inside this composition. And now go back in previous composition and import that composition. And now you can see it's working fine. But let's say you have a situation where you have a composition which contains a lot of pre-comps. It would be disastrous to duplicate it. When this type of situation happens to me, I shut off my system and go outside to get some fresh air. But now with the help of True Comp Duplicator, you can duplicate the entire project in just a few clicks. So what you have to do is open this script and select the composition which you want to duplicate and, and make sure you select it on project panel, not in timeline, and now select these checkbox. If you want to master this script, then I would suggest to watch full tutorial on it. So now here you have to type the number of copies you want to create. And next click this button and it will start doing its magic and after some time you will get another composition. 
and if you change anything in this composition, it will not affect the another one. Scene Edit Detection One day I watched a car edit on Instagram and immediately downloaded a car scene pack and slammed the video inside. And the first thing which I had to do was trimming the clips. So I started using my keyboard by pressing shift plus page down or up to move 10 frames forward and backward. And when I notice any scene change, then I start slamming the page up and down key until I found the exact frame when the scene changed. And this was the moment I realized that I had to do something about it. And then I accidentally saw this button called Scene Edit Detection, and I wondered what the hell is this? So I clicked this button and I went outside to scroll some reels. And when I came back, what I saw was unbelievable. After Effects trimmed all of the clips without any suffering. This is a new feature introduced in the latest version of After Effects. If you ever downloaded any templates for After Effects or ever worked in complex animations, then you might have this problem to move across the pre-comps. In this case, what you can do is go here and then use your mouse wheel. And now you will hover through all the pre-comps and decide on which to work on. You can also use this to quickly move across the project panel or any one of your favorite scripts. Just make both of them apart from each other so that when you scroll your mouse wheel, it reaches on it. Scaling the footage to comp size. Many times we use image or videos which does not exactly fit in our composition. So what we do is press S and scale it manually until it fits the composition. This is stupid, you are wasting so much time in doing repetitive things. Imagine if there are hundreds of them. Would you do it manually for each of them? Yes? No. Use Control plus Shift plus Alt plus G and boom. This will fit your footage to the composition. You can also use Control alt shift h to fit it horizontally. Importing items. Let's suppose you want to import some clips into After Effects. So basically, what we do is select it and drag this here. But now here's a problem, that I forgot to open the project panel, and that's why it's showing this red thing. At this moment, my brain wasn't braining. There's no way to deal with this situation. I wish I had two mouses so that I could open the project panel and import it successfully. But then I realized, is there any way to open it using keyboard shortcuts? And the answer was yes. You just have to press Control plus zero. And now you can do this mistake over and over again. One problem which always happens is we think this button is just for showpiece and we never organize our files. This happens because we think it's useless to spend time on these stupid things and we fool our minds that we know which footage is where in our project. But with time, our simple projects become a mess and we spend a lot of time finding that particular asset that we imported just some minutes ago. This will not only burn out your brain, but also waste a lot of time, which you should have spent focusing on the creative side. But you have subscribed to Editing Empire, and I'm gonna save you from this chaos. So what you have to do is download the free script by this guy called MGFX. And with the help of this script, you can move all types of files into their specific folder. I know you are lazy, so the link is in the description. I believe you know how to install scripts, but for those who don't, see this installation method. Now open it from this window panel. Now let's dock and let me throw some useful pieces of advice into your brain. So here you can see my project is not organized at all. I have videos, images, audio files, and Photoshop files. So. What we're gonna do is click on this button called Folder Structure, and this will create some folders in which it will put assets based on their file type. Now we will click this button, and all the pre-comps are instantly moved inside the comp folder. And you can do this for every file type. You can see here that our project is getting organized in just a few clicks. If you have any empty folders, then you can simply delete them by using this button. And the best part is, even after importing more files, you can click this button, and it will again organize the files for you. This tool is a lifesaver if you ever have to share your project with someone. I wish I could have this tool in real life so that I don't have to organize my room every time.